Hey everybody, so um, I wanted to show you guys today a chest rub that you can make using your essential oils and I just just came across this and uh, it seems pretty pretty good has some good ingredients so one thing um, one thing I will tell you so it calls for copaiba and Palo Santo and Raven which is a blend um, of camphor, lemon, wintergreen, peppermint, and peppermint and eucalyptus radia. And then it called for Dorado Azul, which I know I don't have. Um, but I was like, hey, I'm sure it's in a blend that I have. So out came the essential oils pocket reference and for those that have this book, um, I wanted to show you, let me find it. So towards the back of the book, there is a list and it lists all of your single oils and then it tells you what those, what products those single oils can be found in. So I looked up Dorado Azul there at the bottom and it can be found in Cool Azul, Cool Azul Pain Relief Cream, Cool Azul Sports Gel, Common Sense, Deep Relief, uh, of course Dorado Azul, um, Immu Power, Infect Away, Parafree, and Sniffleys. So uh, as soon as I read that I was like oh I have Cool Azul. So I got the Cool Azul and this has some other oils in it. Oh, I can't get to it because it's on the back of the label and I only have one hand. But um, it does have Dorado Azul in there. So if you come across a recipe and it's something that you don't necessarily have on hand, look in your book and see if by chance there's a blend that it's in and you can use that blend in your recipe. So let me turn this around and we'll go through the recipe for your chest, chest rub. Okay, so here since this is a chest rub, um, I've got my bottle here that everything will be going in and that particular bottle comes with a roller bitumen. So as after you get it filled up with oils, you pop this in the top and then it makes it really user friendly to rub on your chest um, and to just kind of take it on the go. So for this, um, I'm using, I've already put my carrier oil, the V6 that Young Living makes, and this is packed full of good uh, good oil. So we've got fractionated coconut oil, sesame seed oil, grape seed oil, sweet almond oil, wheat germ oil, sunflower seed oil, and olive oil. Um, the recipe that I saw online, she was just using fractionated coconut oil. Um, I don't have fractionated. I have the just normal virgin coconut oil. So since we want this to stay liquid, I'm going to use my V6. And so I've already filled up the roller bottle and we will, we're going to do 10 drops of the Raven 10 drops of the Copaiba, 5 drops of the Palo Santo, 
and five drops of the Cool Azul. Okay, so we're gonna get, and I'm not sure if you can see this, but if you are a newbie to oils, let's see, where is it? On your bottle, there's gonna be a small little hole over on a side over here. And that is actually where the oil comes out of. The larger hole is just a vent hole um, that allows that oil to flow. So if you mark your hole, some people will mark it with a Sharpie on the outside so they don't have to look for it every time. Um, but we're gonna drop that in there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then our Copaiba, and we'll get that, one, two, And our Palo Santo. And if you add a little bit extra, that's okay. That was six drops. And then our Cool And that was seven. Forgot I was counting to five. So there you go. And then. We'll take this and just top it off. You do want to leave a little bit of headspace. And then some people will say to um, anytime you make a blend to let it sit for 24 hours. Uh, just so that way everything mixes well um, I usually do so after we get this and put the roller on top uh, we'll put it up on the shelf and then it will be ready to use so there you go and just pop this on there See if I can do this one-handed Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. So there we go. And then they have little screw caps and we'll screw that on and it will be ready tomorrow. So hope you guys find this useful. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to email me at hommybiscuits at gmail.com.